Welcome preschool families. It's G Set with Butterfly Garden Preschool. Today we're going to be learning about hermit crabs. Hermit crabs live in tide pools. Um, we're going to listen to a story called A House for Hermit Crab by Eric Carl. But before we do that, I'd like to teach you a few things about hermit crabs. Hermit crabs are protected by a hard shell, but the hermit crab borrows the shell from another animal. Instead of growing its own shell, it pushes its soft body into an empty shell left by a sea snail. Sea animals called sea anemones attach themselves to the hermit crab's shell. They feed on the crab's leftover meals. When the hermit crab grows bigger, it finds another shell that fits. It pulls its body out of the old shell and moves it back into a new shell. How many legs do you think a hermit crab has? Can you guess? Let's look. Now remember, some of the legs are still in the shell. If you guessed 10, you are correct. Hermit crabs also have two large eyes. All right, let's read our story. Early in February, Hermit Crab found just the house he was looking for. It was a big shell and strong. He moved right in, wiggling and waggling about inside it to see how it felt. It felt just right. But it looks so, well, so plain, thought Hermit Crab. In March, Hermit Crab met some sea anemones. They swayed gently back and forth in the water. How beautiful you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to come and live on my house? It is so plain, it needs you. I'll come, whispered a small sea anemone. Gently, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claws and put it on his shell. In April, Hermit Crab passed a flock of sea star moving slowly along the seafloor. How handsome you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to decorate my house? I would, signaled a little sea star. Carefully, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claws and put it on his house. In May, Hermit Crab discovered some coral. They were hard and didn't move. How pretty you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to help make my house more beautiful? I would, creaked a crusty coral. Gingerly, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it on his shelf. In June, Hermit Crab came to a group of snails crawling over a rock on the ocean floor. They grazed as they went, picking up algae and bits of debris and leaving a neat path behind them. How tidy and hardworking you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to come and clean my house? I would, offered one of the snails. Happily, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it on his shell. In July, Hermit Crab came upon several sea urchins. They had sharp, prickly needles. How fierce you look, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to protect my house? I would, answered a spiky sea urchin. Gratefully, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it near his shell. In August, Hermit Crab and his friends wandered into a forest of seaweed. It's so dark here, thought Hermit Crab. How dim it is, murmured the sea anemone. How gloomy it is, whispered the sea star. How murky it is, complained the coral. I can't see, said the snail. It's like nighttime, cried the sea urchin. In September, hermit crab spotted a school of lanternfish darting through the dark water. How bright you are, said hermit crab. Would one of you be willing to light up our house? I, re I would, replied one lanternfish, and swam over near the shell. In October, Hermit Crab approached a pile of smooth pebbles. 
How sturdy you are, said Hermit Crab. Would you mind if I rearrange you? Not at all, answered the pebbles. Hermit Crab picked them up one by one with his claw and built a wall around his shell. Now my house is perfect, cheered Hermit Crab. Wonder what's gonna happen next. But in November, Hermit Crab felt that his shell seemed a bit too small. Little by little over the year, Hermit Crab had grown. Soon, he would have to find another bigger home. But he had come to love his friends, the sea anemone, the sea star, the coral, the sea urchin, the snail, the lanternfish, and even the smooth pebbles. They have been so good to me, thought Hermit Crab. They are like a family. How can I ever leave them? In December, a smaller hermit crab passed by. I have outgrown my shell, she said. Would you know of a place for me? I have outgrown my house too, answered hermit crab. I must move on. You are welcome to live here, but you must promise to be good to my friends. I promise, said the little crab. The following January, hermit crab stepped out and the little crab moved in. Couldn't stay in that little shell forever, said Hermit Crab as he waved goodbye. The ocean floor looked whiter than he had remembered, but Hermit Crab wasn't afraid. Soon he spied the perfect house, a big empty shell. It looked, well, a little plain, but sponges, he thought, barnacles, clownfish, sand dollars, electric eels, Oh, there are so many possibilities. I can't wait to get started. And that's the end of our story. I would love for you to come up with the rest of the story. How does the hermit crab decorate his new bigger shell? What sea animals does he pick up along, his, along the way in his adventure? You write the ending to the story and share it with us. We'd love for you to either text it to us or you can email it to us. Thanks for watching.